Hello there and welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand. Two of college football's premier teams preparing to battle against one another. As we'll see the number 12 team in the country, the Indiana Hoosiers. Taking on the fourth ranked team, the Ohio State Buckeyes. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Buckeyes will kick this away to get us going. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So Indiana's offense comes on the field first today. And there comes the star running back onto the field. He is a special talent. You talk to opponents, he's always the focal point when they face this offense. Boy, Chris, this guy is special. It's almost like he floats across the field. I mean, wasting no time. He's going to go deep on the first play. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offensive coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game, throwing the ball downfield. Defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this offense and look for some turnover opportunities. Dropping back. It's Wark. And this time it's complete. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Out of the gun now on third down. Hunt over the middle. It's Price. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down, and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The Hoosiers come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Heavy pressure, he lets it go. And it's incomplete, even on a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Just trying to get rid of it. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there. And they were able to knock it loose. The offense gifted with great starting field position for this drive. And here's the handoff. Jukes to get free. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Second 
Second down and goal. They're going to run the option. Heading for the goal line, and now the ball's knocked loose. Well, that's why you do ball security drills almost every single day in practice. You just can't put the ball on the turf like that. But give credit to the defender for the hit, because that's what caused the fumble. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Boy, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Looking to pass. It's work. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Getting set. Here's second down. And now the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He makes the grab. Tackle made after a big game. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. And the Hoosiers pick up enough for a first down here. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Takes the grab. It's Cooper. And the gain just good enough for a first down. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. The Hoosiers begin a new series here. First and ten. Handoff here from the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Makes the catch. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Horton. Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. Well, it's a good thing they pick up the first down here because it would have been interesting to see. They were kind of in that no man's area there. If they did not pick up the first down, would they have kicked the field goal or would they have gone for it? But here, doesn't matter. Nice first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. They stop him quickly, but not before a gain down to the six. It's first and goal. So often we get caught up in the quarterback and the wide receivers and the skill in this game. This is another example of a nice job by the offensive line, giving the quarterback ample amount of time to be able to evaluate the defense and make a good throw. Good job up front by the big guys. Looking for six. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Hoosiers. 
tight end was wide open. How do they lose track of the big fella down there, Kirk? I don't know. I wish I knew. I, the defense, to me, looks like they just were so locked in on defending the goal line, they forgot about the tight end. That'll probably be the easiest touchdown throw and catch we see of the game today. Now the important point after attempt. PAT makes it 7 nothing. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And here's the return from inside the five. And the returner is brought down. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. Frustration in the last drive. They moved it into plus territory, but coughed it up. Can't afford that down on the scoreboard now. Grab near the sticks. It's Scott. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. Solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 49. First down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. Well, that's a beautiful run here for the first down. Really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. Just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And the quarterback keeps it here. The ball is loose. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. Second down play coming up. Option look. It's Howard. He's got a first down and more. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down, and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. The Buckeyes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Fires it to the wideout. He's got it near the end zone. Brought down just short of the end zone. It'll be first and goal from the one. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. The Buckeyes will line up here on first down and goal. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeyes. He just goes up and over the pile for that touchdown. And that's some serious vertical by this running back. A well-earned touchdown on the goal line. And they'll set up now for the extra point try. And he knocks it right through. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? That's a quick tackle, but they pick up solid yardage on that short throw. 
These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. So after a competitive, fun first quarter, we are all even. Let's check out some of the stats from that first period. And as we move to the second quarter, we hope these teams will build a promising start. Second down play coming up for this offense. Quick throw caught on the left side. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Now it's second down here. Looking to pass, it's Rourke. Quick throw complete to the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker. A physical tackle there, big versus big. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. It's third down for the offense. And they pick up the first on the ground. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. And the Hoosiers will bring their punt team on the field now. We'll see if he can make a play on this return. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Can the defense come up with answers this time? But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Here's the second down play. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Offense facing a third and long from the 25. What's the call going to be? Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Field for a huge game. Touchdown, Ohio State. Strong game by this quarterback. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. Here comes the point after attempt. The extra point gives him a 14-7 lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. 
the last drive they came up empty had to kick it away can they come up with something here to throw it's work receiver makes the catch and he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. How about the offense here dialing up a good zone beater? Let's give credit to the coordinator for calling the right play at the right time and the receiver finding the hole in that zone. Pass complete. It's second down now. And the quarterback dropping back. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big gain. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? A quick throw out left complete. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. The pass rush closing in. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. I mean, that's just being a difference maker up front. You look at that uniform, you think over the years with Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, and Chase Young, and so many great defensive linemen. And this guy right here is showing you he's got some of the similar skill set as some of those greats. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. To the air. It's Rourke. Running back has it on a screen now. And he's brought down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers. But he stopped short of the first down. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he can get the yards after the catch and up for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. The Hoosiers will send the punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the punt will bounce out of bounds. Great execution that time. The offense in a tough spot to start the drive. And they'll give it to the back. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Here's a quick throw off the play fake. That'll pick up the first down. He's brought down to the 21. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. And you know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient and prolific quarterback under center. That's solid run. Good for first down yardage. Receiver in motion now. First down, looking to throw the ball. With the catch, it's Tate. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. A completion makes it second down. Scanning the field, it's Howard. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. Buckeyes will try to keep this drive moving. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. The gain is four, so it's second and six. Well, there's just so many things happening on these read option plays, and they happen fast. This defense has done a good job of trying to prevent this quarterback from hitting the big play. He gets some yards here, but at least he didn't get out for a big gainer. 
A gain makes it second and medium. And the wideout goes in motion. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Oh, and he doesn't hang on off the deflection there. He's going to bring up a third down play. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back, getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking, interception. This one falls to the ground, but the next tip ball could be going the other way. It's a deep throw down the right sideline. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. The Buckeyes will send their punt team onto the field. Turner decides to fair catch this. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. He's a wide-open receiver complete. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. One play moves the ball to the 45. It'll be first down. Looking downfield, it's Rourke. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Well, when you sit back and play zone defense like this, what you allow is your defense to have eyes on the football. Here, they give up the catch, but you can see how they rally to the football. There's just nowhere to go for this slot receiver. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. An explosive play. They finally grab him, but the ball moves inside the 25. The defense does a nice job of forcing the quarterback here to be patient by playing zone. They run a crossing route. Defense is there, but not able to break up the catch. And the Hoosiers will line up on first and 10. Look at it. Chuck it again. And it's incomplete. He just missed his target overthrowing it. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. And he'll set up to throw. Catch hauled in here over the middle. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Looking to the end zone. And it's incomplete very near the goal line. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So now on comes the field goal unit. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So they settled for three here, and now the kickoff. See if the opposing offense can answer before halftime. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They've got to be pleased with their performance here in the first half. Let's see if they just play it cautious and get to the break. And he lofts it deep over the middle. That one is incomplete. Took a downfield shot on first down, but missed it. Well, it's an incompletion here. 
And I bet this secondary is going to play a little bit deeper just to make sure they don't get hit on any deep throws later in this game. Second down after that previous play. Back to pass. It's Howard. Wow, back-to-back -back deep shots. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Makes a nice move there. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Chris, you know how it goes in football. When it works out well for the offensive coordinator on third long on a run play, he's a genius. And if it didn't, of course, everybody on social media would be saying that he needs to be fired and it's too conservative of a call. You wonder what they'll do on that next third down. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great one going down in Columbus today. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. The Hoosiers will kick this deep to begin the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. That's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he'll just lob this pass into the middle of the field. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Boy, what a big time play here by this wide receiver. You know, sometimes, Chris, I wonder if Woody Hayes would be enjoying this modern passing attack from his Buckeyes. And I'd like to think that winning would outweigh any concerns he may have about that ball being in the air so often. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the marker, inches away. Boy, positive yards there on first and 10. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you've got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. Come to the line for second down and very short now. They'll run it from the gun. Finding some room with the 25. Comes out of bounds after another big game on the ground. This running game has been strong today. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Scott. 
They're finally able to stop him. The quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. This one sails through the back of the end zone and incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. And the field goal is good. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Well, Turner looking to make a play here. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. Off the play fake on first down. The freshman introducing himself to the quarterback there. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. Back to pass. It's work. Tries the right with a quick throw. Makes the catch downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Another chunk play. This offense is really clicking. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. He's found some room at the 45. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. And the Hoosiers lining up here on first and ten. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Caught on the outside. It's Horton. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a gain there. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. That completion sets up a second down play. Play action fake, looking to throw. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Good job here to be able to get a foot down. That was awfully close to being out of bounds, but no, he's in. First and ten now for the offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Makes a quick grab. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second manageable here for this offense. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Back to throw. It's Wark. Throws it to the right. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Tackle after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. Whew, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. 
and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana. Well, Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and they reached the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. they'll set up for the PAT. The PAT is up and good, so we're tied up here in the third quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Looks like the returner will try and field this one. They stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They moved it last time, but settled for a chip shot, looking to find the end zone this time. Play action here on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Tate. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the the chemistry between these two. That completion makes it second and medium. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Caught near the sticks, and Smith. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. Just another great example, Chris, of an Ohio State quarterback and receiver combination being so dangerous. You think about it, over the last eight or 10 years, I think Ohio State has been as consistent as anybody when it comes to the passing game and the efficiency that comes with it. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Oh, a sack! The senior on this defense making a big play. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. We'll see if the offense can overcome that sack. Second and long. Good throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. Tackle made after a big game. I understand the concept of bringing the blitz, and you hope that it gets home. But if you don't, you leave your corner in man-to-man -man situation against this wide receiver, that is a tough ask for this corner, and he's going to lose that battle more often than not. And looking to throw now on first down. Gets made on the out route. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. The quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. And here comes a deep shot. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The Buckeyes line up with a first and goal. First and goal, handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Coming up, second down and goal. On the option, it's Howard. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Well, if you're going to run the read option, 
You're going to have to keep your eye on that defensive end. If he collapses down inside to the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself as a quarterback to the outside. Now, if he stays outside, you're going to go ahead and leave it in the running back's belly. In this case, he pulled it and got some good yards himself. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And they will claim the second half lead. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. And so far, we have been treated to a serious quarterback duel. Both these guys putting on a show so far. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. Getting set to kick the ball off now. turn begins inside the 10 and he's tackled at the 21 that's where the drive will start and here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field scanning the field it's work makes a quick catch and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage that's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. Looking to throw it on first down. He's looking to scramble. They bring him down just short short of the marker inches away from a first down point of defense trying to get after this quarterback I love the concept I love the idea here they don't give up the big play they prevent him from getting out and picking up huge yards offense getting set it's second down here's the snap quarterback drops back caught near the sticks it's Horton not much after the catch but it is good enough for a first down just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. And there's the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Caught over the middle. It's cross. They bring him down after a short gain there. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, it's work. Can't hold on. Good defensive play, brings up a fourth down. will have to kick it away. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. The last position, they really had the passing game clicking. Move right down the field for a touchdown. That's caught. It's Smith. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. 
Kidney decides to keep it here. Good enough for first down yardage. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. Hey, guys up front lined up. It's first down. Looking for a gap. It's Henderson. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. Important second down play coming up. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. Oh, and a chance there for a game-changing interception. Couldn't quite come up with it. Sets up third down now. We'll see if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Grab down the middle. It's Smith. It's a big gain all the way to enemy territory. Tackled at the 45. Well, the defense gets these guys to third down. They got a chance to get them off the field, and instead, they give up the first down. So the clock will continue to move, and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense at this point. Buckeyes will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. The Buckeyes getting set on first and 10. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Offense getting set. Second down play here. To the air. It's Howard. The pocket breaking down. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. Important play right here. Close game, fourth quarter, third and long. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Under heavy pressure, he takes a shot, and it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. And I talk to defensive coordinators all over the country, and they're quick to point out the term affecting the quarterback. They, they, they kind of almost get offended when you want to talk to him about sacks. Sometimes it's just about getting into his face, affecting his vision. It's exactly what they did right here. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Love those positive yards on first and ten, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll bring second and inches, but sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Less than a yard to go as they cover the line on second down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. It's a short completion of the tight end. And he'll pick up the first down, stopped at the 27. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense, looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. Fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Looking downfield, it's Rourke bringing pressure. QB to the tight end for a completion. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. 
Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and 10. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action, and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and 10. Getting set. Here's second down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle. It's cross. And the game just good enough for a first down. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. And the Hoosiers pick up enough yardage for a first down. Back to throw again. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Second down play coming up. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Defense is coming after him. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game in a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. Can't find anybody on third down, throws it away, and now fourth down coming up. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game, an incompletion on third down and long. It's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Crucial play here. They go to the air. And there's a deep throw with the clock winding down. And the pass is incomplete. That's a big stop with this defense on fourth down. The offense going very heavy, bringing in more blockers. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. He'll hand it off. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. Last time they gambled and lost. Went for it in fourth down in their territory and got stopped. Finds his man. It's cross. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Looking to throw. It's work. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. They try a downfield shot. That's a good effort there. But now it's third down. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Price. And it works. The first down to the 35. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. 
probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. First down, clock stops for a moment, but no huddle here. They've got to hurry. The offense looking to just spike the ball here. Now it's second down here. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And the senior quarterback puts a little bit too much on the throw. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between a quarterback and the receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, it's going to cost you. On third down, he drops to throw. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. Chris, that's every quarterback's worst nightmare. A wide open receiver streaking for a touchdown. You could throw a hook shot out there, let him get underneath it, and let him run to the end zone. What a missed opportunity. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Looking for the wide out. Finds this receiver that's enough for the first down. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Just great execution here on this fourth down to keep this drive alive. And what I love is the accuracy from the quarterback and a good job by the receiver knowing where that route needed to be to be able to catch the ball and pick up the first down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. The offense decides to just spike the ball here. Here's the second down play. Dropping back. It's Rourke. Running out of time in the pocket. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. 